Hi everyone and welcome back I'm betting this for you TV we are back again here to give you some more tips as uh, on Friday we have a fantastic day of football as England take on Scotland for the match that has been anticipated for so many months and uh, it should be a cracker at the Wembley Stadium of course we have also other games and uh, uh, we are looking forward to give you all the best tips and analysis for what should be a great day and uh, before we start, let me say that we are very, very pleased with the results that we've achieved this week. Uh, Lucas and Proni was uh, uh, in particularly great form on uh, Wednesday night when he delivered a fantastic uh, bet builder on Italy against Switzerland. Italy, once again, were very impressive. They won 3-0 against Switzerland and we won our bet uh, as uh, Luca managed to get, uh, um, he, was, he tipped Italy to win with one goal handicap and also both teams to score no. So that was uh, at odds of 3.57, so we placed seven credits and we got back 25. Fantastic result there. On Thursday, we were very, very close as well to win a second bet of the day, which was a double with uh, Russia to win 2 nil and also uh, both teams to score in Turkey against Wales. Obviously, that was a great bet. He was paying more than four times the money and he only missed out for one goal. Uh, unfortunately, things like that do happen. However, we are getting very, very close to big wins and uh, some big wins are also coming in. So we are very positive and looking forward to what should be a fantastic Friday. So. Today uh, we are going to uh, go through um, uh, all the games uh, that we have on Friday. So we will obviously start with uh, Croatia against Czech Republic, uh, which will be covered by our expert Lucas Emproni. And then uh, we also we are going to have uh, tips on uh, uh, the afternoon match between Sweden and Slovakia. And of course, a lot of tips on uh, England, Scotland. So we will have uh, as I said before, we will connect with our experts. We are going first to Robbie Billund that will give us the tips on uh, England against Scotland and also uh, a double on the day. And also uh, we then go to uh, our uh, Italian expert uh, Luca Seproni that will give us the tips on Croatia against Czech Republic. And uh, after that, we are back here as uh, our expert here, Benis for you TV at quarter at prepare a massive, a very interesting and hopefully a winning a big bet, bet builder on England against Scotland, of course, special game, special bet. So uh, before we proceed, make sure you subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. All you need to do is to log in into your account and click on the subscribe button. It's completely free and that will allow you to get access to all our uh, videos that we publish every day here during the Euros and also moving forward with other sporting events. In addition to that, make sure you hit the bell as that will allow you to get notifications every time we post a new videos. As you can see, we're posting videos every day uh, and they are only a few hours apart. Uh, so make sure by having notification enabled, you will be able to avoid missing out and uh, uh, get all the analysis and the tips from our expert to make your own mind before the games are starting. Also, if you like some of the tips that are uh, presented in this show, all you need to do is to check in the description below as we have placed all the links that will load those bets directly into the bookmaker that we have selected. And uh, in doing so, you will save time, you will make sure you back our tips correctly, and also you will get the best odds, uh, most likely, as we always place bookmaker that have the best price for our tips at the moment of recording. Of course, odds are subject to change, so double check them before betting. So now we are ready to go and uh, we are heading immediately uh, to uh, Robbie Billund, our expert, that will give us the uh, tips on uh, Thursday, a double and a bet of the day. I can see that Robin is connected with us. So Robin, that's over to you. Hi everyone, we are back again as the European Championship continues and we are now in uh, the middle of round two as we are now looking forward towards the games that we have on Friday. Some uh, really, really interesting games. Uh, it's time to start to maybe not settle, but at least get a very good feeling about what teams will go through, which teams might see their last chances go here. 
but we also do know that four of the number threes from the six groups that we have here they will have a good chance in going through as well so even if you fail to win here there could still be chances going into round three as we don't know surely how many points it will take to get through in this uh, European Championship so very very uh, interesting games coming up very very important ones of course and for Friday we are looking into Sweden against Slovakia and also of course the big derby that we have on Friday night at Wembley with England going up against Scotland uh, we have picked out a double for you and of course also picked out our best bet of the day um, as we are um, hoping here to continue a good run of good picks and bets during this European Championship. Um, as a foundation in this double for Friday, I think that Sweden will kick off the day by beating Slovakia. Um, Slovakia, maybe too many, they surprised. They won against Poland, of course, much help with Krzysztof uh, being sent off for Poland while Sweden they picked up one point away to Spain in Seville uh, of course a very very important very very good point that they picked up got some criticized for not maybe playing the best of football can fully agree on that but in a European Championship it's all about making results and Sweden especially with their manager Jana Andersson have proven that this is a team that know how to get the points needed and do the job they are expecting to do and um, we have the same situation here on Friday the job that they had to do now is to win against Slovakia and I am expecting them to do that. Alexander Isak looked really good uh, as he had a ball on his feet, uh, created chances, could be very, he was very close to score a goal as well with Pau Torres saving off the line into the uh, woodwork and then out again. But Alexander Isak, he was on fire and I think uh, with Jan Anderson taking him off for the last 25-30 minutes uh, in the game against Spain. He will be ready to go here against Slovakia and he will be on fire. So Sweden to win is our foundation in our double for Friday. Then I am expecting England to win to nil against Scotland as well. Of course, I know it's a derby, anything can happen, but Scotland, they didn't look good against Czech Republic and I cannot really see how they should score goals. Uh, they are lacking a lethal striker. They sent on Shea Adams for the second half against the Czech Republic. He have shown during his uh, season with Southampton that he, what, what he does best is to create chances, set up chances, but to score goals is a big problem. Problem. England they looked solid Calvin Phillips Declan Rice looked very good in midfield I think Southgate has found a formula here where he can have those two in uh, the central of uh, midfield and then let go with the attackers that he have in front of them so I think England will prove to be the bigger team here against Scotland I think they will win and I think they will keep a clean sheet so England winning to nil and Sweden to beat Slovakia that is our double for Friday the best bet for Friday is from the England-Scotland game at Wembley as well. As we all know, as mentioned, it's a derby. It's a huge game for those two sides going up against each other. It's uh, at famous ground on Wembley, of course. And the referee for this game, Lajos from, from Spain, who loves his yellow and red cards, especially the yellow cards. He averages around five each game he referees. Uh, and when he sees how this game could end up, uh, I think he will be quick to react on the cards. You get over 3.5 cards to really good value. And it's a no-brainer for me to back this one. So um, England, Scotland over 3.5 cards with Lajos as the referee. That is the best bet of the day. We are backing both those bets with medium stakes. And we have a really good feeling going into this Friday. Hopefully you have that as well. And then we can win on those together. So I'll speak to you soon again. I wish you a great day and uh, see you soon again. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Robin. And let's hope that we can get more winning bets on this uh, uh, on the Euro. 
We've started in great form. We won uh, several bets and we uh, went very, very close on others. We are looking also for big wins and we're not just going for small bets. So I hope you appreciate that. And uh, uh, of course, we will never be able to win all the bets, but uh, as long as we are profitable in the long term, that's what we are aiming for. So um, another thing I want to flag you before we go into Italy is uh, uh, that we have a fantastic, very, very popular service on our Twitter feed. Uh, the, our Twitter handle is uh, at BTIPS uh, for you. You can see in the uh, graphic now and also you will find the link below. Make sure you follow us as everything is completely free there and we have our experts that are live on every game to provide in-play tips as uh, the game proceeds. So they analyze the game and they also and they find the best value for you and provide the tips uh, in real time. So it's a very fun service uh, to have when you're watching the games of the Euros. And also it's been very profitable because we've been winning uh, quite a lot of bets uh, uh, in recent times. So make sure you check. I think we are around 70% of the bets in play one. So you want to uh, definitely check this service. And uh, um, now we are ready to go to Italy. Uh, so let's see what Luca has to say. Uh, let's go immediately to uh, him. Uh, he's going to provide tips on Croatia against Czech Republic, which is the first uh, actually, the second match of the uh, Friday schedule of the Euros. So, Luca, that's over to you. Ciao, Simone. Come al solito, un saluto a tutti i amici e a tutte le amiche di Betting Tips for You. Oggi voglio proporvi una doppia per la partita Croazia Repubblica Ceca. La doppia che voglio proporvi è vittoria della Croazia e eh, under 2-5. Veniamo all'analisi del, della partita. La Croazia, come ho detto altre volte, è arrivata prima nel proprio girone, gioca un 4-2-3-1 abbastanza eh, coperto, il reparto forte, come vi dicevo l'altra volta, è sicuramente il centrocampo dove spicca Modric, ma anche Brozovic e Kovacic, eh, che però nell'ultima partita eh, hanno giocato eh, abbastanza male, sono stati abbastanza deludenti, soprattutto eh, Brozovic secondo me. In avanti ehm, Perisic e ehm, Rebic ha perso la Croazia 1-0 con l'Inghilterra, una partita non giocata malissimo ma nemmeno giocata bene, ha tirato poco in porta la Croazia, poche eh, occasioni. Il dato che ci fa fare però questa, questa giocata è che comunque, che mi fa fare questa giocata, è che comunque la Croazia, eh, il, scusate, in 5 delle ultime 6 partite giocate dalla Croazia, è uscito uh, l'under 2 eh, e 5 e c'è cioè una vittoria perché comunque la Croazia appunto deve vincere per superare il girone e ha la possibilità di farlo anche se di fronte alla Repubblica Ceca che è arrivata seconda nel proprio girone dietro all'Inghilterra uh, cioè le qualificazioni con 5 vittorie e 3 sconfitte gioca anch'essa con un 4-2-3-1 e ha uh, vinto l'ultima partita 2-0 con la Scozia con doppietta di Patrick Schick che è sicuramente è il giocatore più rappresentativo di questa nazionale, un giocatore di grande talento, ma comunque molto discontinuo. Quest'anno 9 gol nel Bayern Leverkusen, ma lo, lo ricorderete anche ai tempi di Roma, dove ha giocato veramente male. Insomma, un giocatore che è capace di fare partite come quella, con, ehm, come quella scorsa, dove ha segnato una splendida doppietta, addirittura un gol da, da, da centrocampo incredibile, e altre dove ecco tocca veramente pochi palloni. Anche qui vogliamo fare questa giocata perché comunque anche la Repubblica Ceca, ehm, anche le partite della Repubblica Ceca è uscito uh, l'Under 2-5 eh, in 6 delle ultime 9 eh, partite. Quindi ricapitolando, la uh, giocata è vittoria della Croazia e eh, Under 2-5. Voglio dare un livello di confidenza 3 a uh, questa giocata perché comunque non è una giocata facilissima però se dovesse uscire pagherebbe bene come al solito nel ricordarvi di giocare responsabilmente auguro un buon lavoro a tutti e ridotte la linea Simone ciao a tutti thank you very much Luca and let's hope that uh, you will stay on fire I mean Luca has been in great form so far at the Euros has won so many bets already that uh, uh, it's really impressive even for us that we know how experienced he is. So let's keep finger crossed finger cross that more will come. There is a lot to go through still in the Euros and we can make this the best betting events, of course, for us. 
uh, if we continue this way. Uh, now uh, we are um, going to, uh, I'm going to tell you what are the bets for uh, um, the England against Scotland that are released by our expert Tia Bendis for you TV at quarter. The, it's, a, it's a bet builder and obviously Scotland uh, are now under pressure after losing uh, the first match against Czech Republic. Um, I mean, the Scottish team and the Scottish fans had such high hopes for this tournament that looking uh, the way it started, obviously they will be very disappointed. They have players with great quality of the likes of Andy Robertson, uh, um, Kieran Turney, Scott McTominay and also uh, John McGean. So they definitely have quality there, but uh, we haven't seen that unfortunately in the first match against Czech Republic. That was very, very disappointing. So they will have the opportunity now to make amends here. They are coming to Wembley. It's a huge game uh, for both teams. It's a very, very important also for the rivalry. But, uh, and, and they obviously now they have to make a result if they want to qualify, if they want to have a chance to qualify for the next stage and they have to get past England. So that's, uh, um, that's where uh, um, they will have to, so the, maybe before this match, if they've won against Czech Republic, they would think to come to London with a more defensive approach. But considering that now the situation is very, very delicate for them, we expect them to have to come through uh, uh, forward and that should make this game very interesting. And um, England, uh, they're very, I thought they're very, very, very good for uh, around 15, 20 minutes in Croatia. And after that, they look very professional, uh, managed to keep the result uh, uh, all done on that win. And obviously that's the way you win trophies. So uh, it's a good start from England. Uh, of course, uh, you, they have to raise their game. They have to play a little bit better. They have to be more, uh, uh, especially if we think about Eric Kane. He was basically not involved during that game. So, but uh, although England is still in uh, kind of, uh, uh, are not firing on cylinder at the moment, uh, I don't see Scotland, uh, uh, we don't see, uh, I bet it's for you TV at court, uh, Scotland being able to um, uh, overcome England and win this match. Uh, actually, we believe that it's going to be a pretty one, one side affair, also considering that uh, if England will score, Scotland will have no option that going all attack and that will open up further space at the back. So England look very solid in defence, so we don't think they will concede and uh, we believe it's going to be something very similar to what we've seen in the Euro uh, 96 when England won 2-0 with a great goal scored by Gaza. And uh, um, for this reason we're going to backing, we are backing England uh, uh, to win with one goal ending up. That's the first selection of our bad builder. So after all, England have won their last seven matches and six of them have been to nil, while Scotland have only won two of the last eight. So also from a form point of view, England are the team to go with. Now, uh, the second selection for the bad builder is Harry Kane to score any time. So obviously, Harry Kane uh, didn't have a great game at all against uh, Croatia. He was probably a bit nervous, but we've seen him that uh, even that he can definitely deliver on big tournaments. He didn't have a good uh, Euro 90, uh, sorry, <laughs> Euro 2016, uh, but he had a very good World Cup, so we expect him to. And and you know, for this kind of players, uh, especially the size of him, uh, it takes a little bit of time to get into form. So we expect him to do a lot better against Scotland. He's definitely have the quality to score. After all, he has scored in all eight of England's Euro 2020 qualifiers and has scored 12 times in total. So uh, he has what it takes to cause problem to a uh, uh, Scotland uh, uh, defence that have looked very, very vulnerable against Czech Republic. And I'm not even talking about the goalkeeper, uh, the, the, the Scottish uh, Neuer, I would say, that what, what he was doing in midfield, uh, I still don't understand. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, for, for, the, for, uh, for this sake, we're going to Kane to score any time in uh, this match. And that's the second selection of our bed builder. The third selection of our bed builder is uh, uh, that we're gonna have at least one red card in this match. So obviously England and Scotland, that's huge rivalry, is a big derby and is coming in the biggest stage possible. So we do expect to see a very heated affair 
And, and to be honest with you, I think that uh, if things are going to go towards the England side, as I would expect, we would expect to go, uh, then Scotland will start to get frustrated. After all, you know, they will see uh, the party over in just a week, uh, basically, if they lose this match. So they had a lot of high expectations for this team and uh, the players will start to feel the pressure as well. So in the second half, especially, I expect to see a lot of falls and a lot of cards be handed out especially as uh, uh, the nerves will start to appear and uh, also i mean if the match stay quite tight that's also uh, another reason why there could be cards as well after all um, both sides are in, in pressure they will really want to deliver it's a derby uh, it's a needed derby and uh, uh, a card a red card is very likely and it pays very well so that concludes our uh, bed builder for today, for this fantastic game, England against Scotland. We cannot wait and, uh, uh, and, also, um, and we cannot wait to hopefully win some of the bets. We are going only with three credit for this bet because it returns a very high, uh, it has very high odds, so we don't need to risk more. It's obviously a, a treble as well in a single game. So there are risks, of course, especially as we put in the red card into this uh, uh, into this bet, but we believe it's a funny bet to have. He has a very good opportunity to come out, and if they will come out, it will be a very nice uh, Friday night, whatever the results. So uh, that's uh, um, and, and you know, as I said, we always uh, uh, back the tips from our experts. The reason why we do that is because we know how much effort they put into the analysis and uh, how much experience they have. So uh, that's the reason why we. Um, we place our own money on it and if you go to our website bettingsforyou.com and navigate to the section bettings for you tv you will find all the latest episode and also all the bet sleep that we won but uh, if you want to check how we're doing with the uh, with um, uh, profit and loss uh, you can also find that we normally update that every month so you will find that overall and also split by experts so that's the best way uh, obviously, we want to be very transparent with you and uh, as I said before, we're not aiming to win all the bets, it's impossible, but we are very, very uh, keen to try to deliver a profit for you and us in the long run. And that's the aim of our channel and our, our website as well. So that concludes uh, this uh, show today. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please put a big thumbs up if you manage maybe to let you to get you to win some bets in previous episodes as well. Uh, it's very appreciated. I've seen you putting thumbs up, so uh, please do so and continue to do so. And if you're not doing so, please do so, as it, it will help us to grow the channel further and also uh, to produce more and more free content for you with quality experts. So uh, I hope that you are going to have a, a fantastic Friday. It's going to be a great, great game. More th Three more games coming up. Uh, England against Scotland. What more can you ask for a Friday night? So. Um, and uh, of course, oh, actually, I know what I can ask more for Friday night uh, some winning bets, and that's what we really hope to achieve. So, if you play some bets, I uh, wish you great luck. But uh, uh, always remember to gamble responsibly, even during the Euros, even during big games. I wish you great luck, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow again. Bye now.